<sighs> Lord have mercy, right? What a heck hole. <laughs> That was a big load of copper wire I found and I didn't have any uh I didn't have any gigabyte storage on my phone to record that. The price of this stuff is down though. It was 75 cents the last time I turned it in per pound for that type of material, but I don't know if it's this week, so today is Sunday, so we'll find out, right? <clears throat> that is if I have enough. I'm not going to go to the scale with that, that little bit right there, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you, put, you do that often enough with scales that weigh by the pound, um, you end up cheating yourself over the long run. Because the one pound scales don't measure by the ounce. So you're better off getting a larger load okay if you have a scale at a yard that measures by the ounce fine okay but I don't know of any we don't have that in our area anyway I got all this crap right here to the dream and somebody dropped off a water heater by my house and uh yeah well, load is a little gnarly but I'd say I'm Better than halfway full already with this. Most of this was loaded yesterday. I loaded a little bit this morning. And I forgot to say good Sunday morning to everybody. Yeah, it's really rainy, drizzly. About 75 degrees. Not too humid, but you know, when you start getting physical activity outside, you start sweating because it's about 80% humid. A little extra copper coil there from a pool heater. And, uh, oh, I've had this thing for a long time and I'm looking for a motor for this because that's all this thing needs. It needs an engine. And, uh, <coughs> keep life because all the ones that I have are all busted up. And the pile has gotten smaller. And I'm looking to eliminate everything from here all the way to where the garage door is at so I can put my cars and stuff and trucks and stuff over here on this side. And pretty much eliminate over, you know, the rest of the week most everything that's sitting outside. Clear ahead. Because otherwise you end up needing to make piles out of rocks and debris because, well, you know, as a junk man like me, okay, which there really aren't any, that you know for sure there's bits of copper and brass, aluminum wire and everything else mixed in this. That's why this pile hasn't gone anywhere. Because it's loaded with treasure. There's probably about a hundred dollars worth of. All right, seventy-five dollars worth of whatnot in there. <coughs> so, the thing is, is to continue working on not doing business that way and keeping everything in a bin, which for me, learning order and organization. Are damn near impossible but it is absolutely necessary to be successful and this is like a little dream that I, somebody handed to me when I was scrapping and it would have been nice if I didn't leave it out in the water don't you think it just started raining there's there's some Nice drill bits and stuff in here. Let's dump the water out so it doesn't get ruined. Just, even though the tools were free, there's a muffler hanger. I always could use that, right? Yeah, even though the tools were free, you don't always come upon. Look at that, I could use those. 
even though they were free, my time wasn't free, my gas to acquire them weren't free. I don't really care about the nuts and bolts. They don't really matter if they're wet. <clears throat> I don't care about that stuff. Look at that. The stuff I don't care about, there's no water in there at all. No water in there at all. That's good stuff. Though. <laughs> I figure it's that the... Oh, some muffler clamps. Muffler clamps. Figures the one drawer that I care about got water in it. Oh, look at these. These are beauty bolts, and they can be used for the the rivets that pop down the side panel on that truck right there. Because it has to have at least half of them riveted in there to pass the state inspection. Or you will fail. So, once again, the scrap man never wants, he just waits. And look at that. Never had to buy any. So, definitely keeping that. Has definite keep life. That's used life, actually. Hey, brass screws, right? If I can't use those for anything, you know what happens to them, right? There's some more, uh, Allen heads and stuff. Little uh, wheel there. Shit, just one drawer got wet that I really cared about. And that happens to be the one with the. <laughs> happens to be the one with the tools in it. Oh, the sun should be coming out a little later, so. That should take you. You know what? I'm gonna take this out, and any remaining moisture. We'll be dried out by the sun. Look at that. <clears throat> saw saw blade. A lot of people might say so. Well, you know they're. Two, three dollars each, right? Okay, and okay, two or three dollars. Let's think about that in, in scrap weight. Two or three dollars is equal to, depending on where you go and what the prices are for you guys currently. For me, that's that's 20 pounds of steel. <clears throat> so that's a brake drum. Right there, that sawzall blade. That's a brake drum. Think of it that way. When you start thinking of scrap that way, you start wanting to treat your tools, whether you got them for free, in quotes, okay? Because nothing really is free. Took my time and my fuel. Whether you got them for free or if you actually paid cash for them, it's probably a good idea To train yourself to treat your tools with a little bit of respect. Even if it's a sawzall blade. Think about it. Okay. I see a lot of guys throw their sawzall blades away when they get back. Okay. So they're still able to cut. Okay. The blade still can cut. But they throw the blade away. trying to make money off of scrapping yet you're throwing away every time you throw away a blade you're throwing away one brake drum would you let somebody into your garage and say hey give me that brake drum for free just give it to me would you give it up no I wouldn't well that's what happens when you bend the saw blade yet the saw blade is still operational I take them out and I straighten them out and I squeeze that saw blade for all the oink I can get out of it. All the boo that cow will give. <laughs> and no to another uh, commenter that truck is not mine. That belongs to the owner. And besides it doesn't 
wrong and I wouldn't use something like that. Anyway, it has air brakes and I don't have a CDL air brake qualification. Plus it's too heavy of a truck for what I do, if that makes sense. It's like too much truck, but not enough hauling capacity. Hauling ability, sure, it could probably haul about five times what it's set up to do, but... Why am I showing that weed right there? Right? 